Welcome back to Geiselsberg for episode 17 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 7.06 in the morning, uh, as you've already seen, the um, daub for the contract for Farmer Foley was delivered yesterday afternoon. Um, he is doing um, a bygone days farming museum and has contracted me to provide logs for the building structures and then for the wattland daub walls, manure for the daub and we're going to do poplar bales for the wattle. Um, so I've now delivered the logs and the manure have been done. Today we're going to be looking at getting those poplar bales sorted out, he says. Now, the money's dropped a little bit. A couple of weird things have happened. Um, we have been given an investment, or Papa has taken on an investment. Um, this is says, um, I'm an American farmer and due to a great demand of soybeans I've come into a bit of a sticky situation. I've made a lot of money. That's not a bad thing, generally speaking. But I would like to sponsor you and Papa Farms to the tune of... Now it says 200,000 American dollars with the conversion that came down a little bit. Um, if I can show a sponsorship slash charity, um, it will keep me from having to pay horrendous taxes on the money I've made. Would you be interested? Awaiting your reply, Lightweight Farms. Um, so what Papa has done is taken that investment and automatically invested in that part of the farm that we didn't own. So that's the lightweight wing. That's kind of the, the new section. Um, I don't know when we're going to use any of it or what we're going to do, but that went straight into that bit of property there. Um, I haven't seen the money. That's just that where that went. Now, weirdly, I came out earlier to start jet washing and obviously it's pouring me rain. Um, to wash the sin track and there was a very peculiar noise there's a peculiar noise because my boss is just I'm, it's going to be the death of me we've got chickens when they arrived I don't know but I did hear a cockerel this morning um, to be fair the money has gone down in the bank account and I think what we've done is kind of paid a deposit on them I think it's, it's kind of how it's worked um it says I have a chicken coop and I need someone to tend to my chickens. I will supply the feed and I need someone to tend to feeding them and selling the eggs for me. It's a very simple setup as the eggs are loaded onto crates on trailers I have parked there. Which is what this must be then. Um, although, that said... There's no eggs on there yet. We'll see how we go for production then. I don't know what's happening there. Um, where are we? Do, do, do. Uh, for doing this I offer you every other load of eggs for your use um, it does say pig food as well but we're going to be supplying the wheat for this oh that could be a reason why couldn't it they haven't been fed have they let's just check if they've arrived and we're feeding them that could explain why there's no eggs cleanliness is fine but there's no feed in there Right, that actually ties in very, very nicely with something else we did yesterday. In yesterday's episode, we delivered some bales, half a contract for Tyler for rye and half of the contract for straw bales for um, Stu. Stu's contract said he would pay me 10 Pioneer pallets of pig food or chicken feed. Now, I've delivered half of the straw bales so far, so we can get five pallets of chicken feed that might not be a bad idea actually i do think we've got some wheat in storage but we could go and get some chicken feed so potentially there's that now uh we are also taking delivery of our next load of pig food from see what tea which was 300,000 liters we've had 90 already there's another 90 coming in a little while 
Plus we've got pigs we need to get rid of as well today because the pigs are reproducing, as I keep saying, at quite a rate. Oh, hang on a minute. Have we got a leaky roof? Maybe it was just through there, I could see. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, actually I didn't even look at the pigs, did I? I should have looked at that while we were in that menu. Pigs, what we're looking at, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 8, 62, 71. Wow, okay, so we've got another 21 pigs that need to go. They'll have to be sorted out. Straw, we are getting low on. Pig food will be coming. Okay, so we've got more pigs that need to go. Lots to be getting on with, as there always is. So today's going to be uh, what all, I suppose. What am I going to do? Or what will I do? Yeah, what will I do to get all these jobs do? To get all these jobs do? To get all these jobs done? Oh, blimey. Right, okay. Let's sort out first. I hope this rain stops. What we will do though, as well, this was filthy, it needed to clean. Let's have a look and see how our fields are going. Yep, we've got crop in field 45. That's good. I'm not wondering whether or not. Still quite early, to be fair. Let's do the chicken feed, actually. We'll go and get some more later, that's not a problem, but for the time being I'm sure we've got some in here. I do have a contract actually for Cows Go Moo. And that does say um, 20,000 litres of wheat for their chickens. So do I go and collect the chicken feed? Wheat. I'm going to feed them this. We'll get the pallets later. Oh, that's going to be enough. It should be. It's all this stuff that needs doing. There's not a lot of room to get round here now. To be fair with that there. Bit, didn't it? I feel like just going back indoors, putting the kettle on, having a cup of coffee, wait for the rain to stop. It's actually lucky that we only planted our stuff yesterday because nothing's ready to be harvested, so wouldn't have been able to in the rain anyway. I think I'm going to put this trailer in the shed now. It sits outside and it doesn't have a cover on. Uh, I might just tuck it under here actually, for the time being. <laughs> I can't get out that way, I thought it was a ramp. So one of those mornings, to the stayed in bed, so I looked out the window, heard the cock crawl, saw the rain and thought, you know what, I'm going to snuggle back up under this duvet and stay exactly where I am. Oh, 
Okay, we're going to need bio bailing gubbins, aren't we? Off to the store we go. Now I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing the same with this, catching up with him. Let's roll the uh, cruise control back a notch. There we go, 19. Well, it's slow. Um, right, first load, 45,000 litres of pig food, not first load. What, my third load now um, from C what T. Um, this is going to go to the pigs, the second load, same as before. We're going to take it to Holger Seng stocks and we're going to sell it. That made us a nice bit of money. I did the contract that this is the payment for, and if I can make money from that payment, why not? Although, every time I do this, I leave stuff in the way. Uh, will I get a thread the needle from Incab? <laughs> um, we're about to find out, aren't we? Down the dip doesn't help, does it? I suppose that's what mirrors are for, although, because I'm on a dip, I can't actually see... Nope, I'm going straight into that, aren't I? Yep. now for the pig food that's not too bad it doesn't matter that the potatoes sugar beet soybean kind of sunflower is in the red and is in the orange because they use that at a much lower rate so you don't actually need to fill that right to the top it's the corn that goes down quickly and the wheat and barley a little bit slower than that we definitely do need straw though uh, and they do need cleaning out because they are looking filthy so I'm going to go and get the next load. Before I do that, let's clean them out. The surplus then will be collected, I would imagine, by KJ Wiggins. They will be going off to Big Popper C for Farmer Buttons and Farmer Pierce's contract. Now, I spoke to Farmer Pierce the other day and Farmer uh, and Big Popper C, who both said the plan originally was to provide smoked hams for families um, for Thanksgiving so they said if I can provide them with half 75 for Thanksgiving the other half could be for Christmas I think is what they're saying I'll provide as many as I possibly can as I said yesterday I'm pretty sure Thanksgiving is the 28th isn't it 28th of November I'm sure it is um, so, yeah, what I'll be doing is provide as much as I can before then, then the rest will be for Christmas hams. So, or Hanukkah, or wherever it else is you might celebrate. You may be non-religious, you may just have a festive Christmas. All this stuff needs to be done. It's funny, isn't it? Every time I walk back towards the Zerion, I think to myself in my head, I've got a Zerion. I'm like a five-year-old, which is ridiculous. Can't wait till we've got the money to upgrade this. Oh. I don't think we're going to go for a 5,000. We might just go up to a 4,500. 4, because we'll get the, the bigger bonnet, we'll get a larger engine size. Unless we can afford to go right to a 5, but that seems a bit excessive. Go big or go home, I guess. Right, back in a minute uh, with the next load, and uh, we'll take that and sell it. See what we make on that. 
then we'll lease the equipment we need for doing these poplar bales. Hopefully the rain will have gone away. Leave us alone. Right, we are just leaving Mike's and his mechanics. Because we had a bit of a technical issue. Needed a bit of repair work. Uh, that just cost us just over a grand. Lovely. What I've just noticed as well, side wipers. I just noticed as I was going on, I was thinking, what is that movement in my peripheral vision? Anyway, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it needed a bit of repair. So. All done now. Pull straight into the traffic because that's what you do. Just up here. On the left. I think I might let the lights on this in track. Well, that got up there a lot easier than the last time I came up here. That was in the rain as well, wasn't it? as much as last time. We made 86 last time, didn't we? Or 84? Not that. <laughs> oh, oh no, do we only know 80,000? <laughs> like I say, might as well just go back to bed. That's all we're going to make. Right. Let's get down to the store and let's sort out this equipment we need. These trees were in the way last time, weren't they? Yep. No sign of this rain letting up. Uh, it's now what 8:22. Um, the contract I had for Cow Sky Moo, the one I said that they want 20,000 litres of wheat for chickens. Um, this just says uh, my great uncle Heinz lives down the road in Dreistenhof. He wants to expand his rather large chicken farm another 200 hens, but at this time doesn't have the feed stock. He really needs another 20,000 litres of feed just to get started. I also know that Uncle Heinz has about six sheep. He needs to find a new home for his daughter wanted to start a farm hobby hobby farm uh, and you know how teenagers are she decided to get cows which she thought were more fun um, i bet he would be willing to trade the sheep for some wheat so potentially we could get some sheep if we do the wheat i have got wheat still left in storage which is fine this has been delivered as part of payment for a contract for bales the other day um, we can work something out with that now, as far as the pigs go, um, we are back down to 50. 22 have just been shipped by KJ Wiggums. That takes my total with um, Big Popper C, Farmer Pierce and Farmer Buttons up to 68. So if we can hit another 7, we're at our 75, which is half the thing. I think we'll do that easily. No problem at all. We might even do a little bit more than that if we can. 
Um, but yeah, so and if you look to the right hand side, that means now all the pig food and stuff is back in the green, apart from the potatoes and sugar wheat. But that's still 10,000 litres, is way more than they need. Um, so we're, we're looking okay on there now. Everything's looking rosy. So what we need then is a piece of equipment for doing this bio bales because it's poplars, unlike a crop, because it's kind of wood, sticks, that kind of thing. The brain so shouldn't have too much, unless it goes a bit pulpy, you shouldn't have too much of a problem with it. Uh, where am I looking under? Baling technology, isn't it? It's not forestry. I'm sure it's under baling. We need the Anderson... There you go, the Bio Baler WB55. How much is that going to cost us? Five grand to lease. Seriously? Standard or wides? I think we might go... Actually, I might leave it standard. So I was thinking wide because it's wet and a bit grotty and horrible out. But let's stick with standards. Let's lease that. Now, Farmer Foley needs 20 of these bales. And we're heading up to field four. I'm going to use the um, Sin Track because the... the uh, Zerion's a bit big and I don't want it damaging any of the poplars as we try and drive and do any of this. I've got to familiarise myself with this baler again. Right, I think we're there. I think so. I could get this horribly wrong, but... Fingers crossed we won't. I'm going to go across the grass because we need to go this way. Avoiding road signs where possible. It's better. Just adjust the steering so it's not all wheel steer that way I don't get that violent swerving that might say. Across the grass. Field falls just up here. Now this is part of the assistance for Jeremy, the guy that works for class. His grandfather owns field one, two and four. And we do have use of those fields which is rather helpful. This is going to be trickier than it looks actually because we've got little trees dotted around all over the place. Um, well, no, it's R1 and stick, isn't it? That adjust. down, there we go. So I can adjust the tilt of that like that. I want it out to my left. How far out to my left do I want it now? a bit more than that. Turn it on. Drop it down. Alright. Yep, drop it down. I always find the first couple of passes are a little bit messy. If I can keep my tracks on. Am I going to hit that sapling? Or just bend it? Nope, we're going to hit it. Great. Which means I'm going to do damage to this crop no matter what I do now. Uh, that's frustrating. Let's take some of that down. That's better. Now we can see what we're doing. Just about in this appalling weather. It's going to roll away, isn't it? <laughs> It'll disappear off somewhere. I think what we have to do. I do that. And unload it.
That's one. So we're going to get 20 bows fairly quickly. Okay, right. That's the first pass. Let's bring that back the other way. Now, the only problem with doing that, which I just suddenly thought, is when I come back up again, that's going to be in the way of the tractor, isn't it? So, so actually tipping them out to the side is way better generally anyway. Oh, it's rain. Seriously. I think I might stop. I have a coffee at my thermos flask. Have some breakfast. And hopefully this rain will stop. I took shelter in the little cabin, had some breakfast, had a coffee, <sighs> nearly ten past ten, still raining. Not what I can do. Um, but continue, I guess.
I'll check the bell counter in a minute. I think I'm up to about five or six. Not a huge amount, but... I suppose what I could do is whiz off, if I put narrows on this, I could then drive directly across and try and get myself a bit of a circuit around the outside. Maybe do that. Maybe. Sorry, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm losing my mind today. You know what? Let's turn it off. Look at that. Just going to get some narrows on this. See if that will help a bit. Maybe I can drive along on the crop instead. the narrows on made all the difference it means we can drive along it's just pushing the crop down rather than damaging it kind of flattens it down a little bit and then the wood chipper does its thing wood chipper uh, baler now this is a massive field look out there it's quite big so i'm wondering whether or not once we hit our bales I might wait until um oh, I might wait until um we've got the uh oh, forage harvester for doing the silage harvest and bring the forage harvester over here with the poplar header and wood chip in the rest. It seems like a waste to have it all sitting here. I suppose what we could do, we could cultivate it all in and then have it as another field, I guess. Field space being at a premium, so to speak. I suppose it seems daft having it sitting with poplars on, but... It's filling up fairly quickly as well. Well, I suppose there are only 2,000 litre barrels, not 4,000 litre barrels, so... Who's that?
quite grab one of the Anderson round bale, the cheap one. The, uh, I don't know remember the numbers. Literally just leased it. Um, I think I've done one too many. I've done 21, I think. I'll check, actually check the bale count. Where's the bale counter? There we go. Created bales, 21. No sign the rain letting up. Let's put that down to collect. As long as I don't hit it on anything, we'll be fine. Slight overkill using the Zerion, but I see him daft driving all the way back. Right, just up out of the way. Go past that sapling. A little bit down again. This will take 24, so with the 21 we got, we're fine. And that'll be Farmer Farley's contract complete then. Uh, so his wattle and daub constructions can go ahead. He's had the logs, he's now at the manure. This is the, the uh, wattle. Can't do any harvesting. Uh, I could collect a chicken feed, I guess, and take that back to the farm. some of these around the edge of the field as well so I might have to do a bit of a skirt around the outside I think but it's another job done another piece of equipment used that I don't use very often I used it on Marwell Manor the bio baler that is the Anderson I've used a few times Turn around in the forest a little bit easier. I say that. Now there's oh, at the top of the hill. I'll see you up there in a moment. We'll grab those. There's okay, only the two left. There we go. 
Uh, what? Back in something. Weird as that little patch there hasn't grown. I wonder what it is. There we go. It's 21, nearly 20. The happiest of, well, say so happy days, but the happiest of days, mm, not so much. The weather's not. I'd say it's, yeah, the weather's not helping much, is it? Where am I taking it? Don't know. So I'm never too sure. <clears throat> some maps you can sell them at the bale sale point. Uh, some areas you take them to the wood chip sell point, and the wood chip sell point will accept them. If we take them to the sawmill, we can try there first, can't we? See if the sawmill will take them, if not, it might have to be the bale sell point. Or I could be really unlucky and this could be one of those areas that doesn't take wood chip bales at all. as well, the wood chip cell point is tucked right inside that building isn't it, so I'm going to try and get in there with this hmm. do like a challenge uh, yeah, what if it does take him I don't want to start unloading them and find it doesn't, because then getting them back out again is going to be a nightmare. Mm. Let's have a think about this. How am I going to do this? Maybe. Test bail, right. Bear with me a minute, I'm going to do a test bail. Okay, so I've run one more bale through the baler. That's in the back and I've unloaded it yet. So what we'll do, we'll take it in here and unload it. And if it doesn't like it, then um, you know it's not there. <laughs> it could be the bale cell point. Took it, right. What I do now is get all the rest of them in here. That's going to be easier said than done. Clumped the wall. Clumped being a very technical term. Is this going to work at all? Am I going to get that in? Maybe not. 
I have to dump them outside and then take them in with a front loader or something. Something loader esque. Oh, it's not a lot of room. Work at all? Oh, it is. <laughs> oh man, I didn't think that was going to work. There we go, Farmer Foley delivered. Just with a pound inch to. Now, hang on a minute. That went in. I just backed that in. Why won't that come out? Congratulations, Sawmill. You now have a bone trailer. Of your very own. Aren't you lucky? You can keep that. That's on us. Right, OK, well, that's that bit done anyway. What we'll probably do is grab those chicken uh, feed pallets. Put those down to the farm. And I think we're probably done. That's all I had to do today was get those bales done for that contract. Like I say, I can't do any harvesting. I'm not going to do any logging at the moment. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's we'll see how we go with it. We'll just grab these chicken feed pallets and take them back. Awesome. Right, grab the uh, Massey loader from the pig farm and the trailer. I wonder if this will go through two pallets. It might do a slightly longer fork somewhere. Fingers crossed. So we don't pierce the bags first. Just as an aside, no road signs were harmed during the making of this episode. You'll be glad to know. I know I'm glad to know. Both. No. Best thing to do then. Thought I'd get away with two and I could just put them all up. Let's pull that forward. Yeah. Um, fantastic. Well, another one done in the can, so to speak. Hopefully the rain will stop. We'll see what we've got in the situation with regard to crops, what's ready to go. Uh, we'll have a look at whether I do actually for, yeah, cows go moo. I might sort out that wheat and then maybe we can get some sheep. If we've got enough money on hand... Uh, if we can get some sheep sorted out, then what we can do then is get Jeremy back as well. Because Jeremy, at the moment, is still in livestock storage, I guess. Um, so yeah, we'll try and do that. How am I going to get two on next to each other or not? So not going to like this. We might get away with it. 
myself a little bit. There we go. Nice. So, if you have enjoyed it, give us a like. If you don't subscribe it, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.